Wow, this design blew me away. It is such an epic model, and this selection animation is amazing. The problem is, this is all you're able to see before buying the skin. So you're naturally gonna think the Lee King is going to be incredible if you buy it. But if you're thinking about buying it, you're gonna wanna watch this video because I started digging deeper into the other aspects of this skin, and as much as I hate to say it, it does not live up to its first impression. And huge shout out to Ajith Selva for letting me record his skin. On YouTube, his name is Tamil Marvel. I seriously could not have made this video without him. I love the completely golden design of this king skin, and his armor design is on point. There are thicker layers in certain places, like on his torso and on his arms. You can see how certain pieces of the armor are kind of layered on top of each other to make a really cool pattern. And then there's lines and divots in certain parts of his armor, like in his boots and then there's like one going down his back and I don't know what it is about these things that just make the armor look so much better than just plain smooth armor. They really knocked this design out of the park. The Titan helmet is integrated seamlessly into this skin, so much so that I originally thought that this skin represented the Gold League, and I just thought his helmet symbol was just a cool part of the Gold League design. I didn't even realize it was the Titan symbol, but it could not be more of a perfect match. It's literally made to be. Like the Titan symbol has the beard design that the Barbarian King has, and it also has the crown on it. So it was kind of a no brainer for them to make the King represent the Titan League. I think the symmetry also helps this skin a lot. The default King King skin only has his shoulder armor and his iron fist on the right side of him and on the left side he has the little wristband and sword but it's a little bit off balance there's nothing bad about it I think it looks great but the lead king is perfectly symmetrical on both sides he's got the identical shoulder armor and both of his hands have an iron fist and I just think it makes him look so much better I have no criticism for this design it's going in the S tier and I'm gonna rank each aspect of this skin in a tier and then average them out using this ranking system and then I'll put the overall skin in a tier. Even though he has an incredible design, I don't think this skin would be what it is without appropriate animations and sound design. And I think this selection and pose animation do it justice. They give us the feeling that this is a powerful warrior in heavy armor, but to him, his armor really doesn't feel heavy. He can throw around his weight in a controlled manner and he's basically a solid brick wall with nothing that can get in his way. That's the feeling you get from this skin from the selection screen, and the rest of his animations and sound effects also need to live up to that. His selection animation is by far his best animation. His pose animation is his second best, I would say. It looks very clean, and it really contributes to his personality. His movements are very controlled despite his heavy armor. Now, his walking animation is a pretty good animation. He's standing up straight and tall, his arms are swinging methodically by his side, and his chest is stuck out a little bit. Not anything crazy, but it definitely is an appropriate animation. His attacking animation is kind of underwhelming. His initial impression makes him feel so mean and powerful but his attack feels kind of weak and it doesn't really live up to that selection animation. His attacking is slow, but it's powerful and it's very controlled movements. I kind of see where they were going with this animation. I think they're trying to demonstrate his power without needing to use a lot of momentum in his swings. But I think for this skin, it would have been a lot better to have a more hefty swinging motion when he's attacking a building. I just think that would have contributed way more to his personality. Imagine if he had a swing more like the Magic King or the Dark Ages King. Here's his knockout animation, and it's a fairly standard animation. It makes him look like a fallen warrior on the battlefield. He has an appropriate resting animation where he's sitting upright, his arms are crossed. He appears to 
to be leaning on his sword, so instead of lying down like a lot of other skins, he's sitting up straight and that plays into his personality as a strong fighter. Overall, his animations are pretty average, especially for a legendary, so they're going to go in the B tier. Like the animation, his selection sound effects are the best sound effects that he has. There is an incredible attention to detail, especially on the lower sounds of this skin. There are a lot of subtle whooshes and impact waves that you don't consciously process, but I think it's what makes this sound design so convincing. His pose sound effects are nothing too fancy, but they do exactly what they need to do. It sounds very clean and it pairs great with the animation. The only other custom sound effects he has are attacking sound effects, and he actually has two different sounds depending on whether he's stabbing with his sword or hitting with his sword but they are about as simple as you can get. They're just basic impact sounds. He also has the old default sound where he does a subtle yell after each swing. I don't think it was necessary to include that. It doesn't even sound like his own voice. Just like the animation, his sound is also kind of underwhelming. It just doesn't feel as heavy as it should be. And he does not have a custom deployment sound effect. He doesn't have a custom ability sound effect or knockout sound effect. The selection and pose sound effects are S tier, but the rest of the sounds, or lack thereof, drag it down into the B tier. He hardly has any visual effects. There's no selection, pose, deployment, walking, attacking, or knockout visual effects. The only two he has are ability and resting. For his ability, he only has the custom barbarians. There's no lighting visual effects or anything, but the barbs do look incredible. They're not quite as amazing as the king himself, but the gold armor still looks really good. And for his resting, there's the Z's coming off of him, representing that he's sleeping. And this is actually a new visual effect that I haven't seen on any other skin so far, except for the League skin. So I'm really happy that they added this subtle touch to the skin. He doesn't have many V effects, but for the ones he has, they are really nice. So I'm gonna put overall his visual effects in the B tier. The most important part of a hero skin is the design. That is almost always the determining factor for anyone who's thinking about buying a hero skin. The first thing that you're going to see is the design. Sometimes you'll even overlook some animations and effects because the design is so good. The animations and effects are not as important, but I still think they play a big role in the decision because without some decent animations, a lot of times the design will fall flat. For me, I love the design of this skin and even though it doesn't have have incredible animations, sound effects, and visual effects, this is still going to be the first League skin that I'm gonna buy. This is a really unique situation for me where I love the design so much that I'm willing to overlook the lack of animations and sound effects and visual effects and still buy the skin. Now that may or may not be the same for you, but I hope this video has given you the facts that you need to decide whether or not to buy it. Now adding up all the points, my final ranking for him is going to be in the B tier.